Hi everyone, welcome to Crochet for Life. In this video, I am going to share with you how to crochet this baby diaper cover. This diaper cover I made for this set. It's so beautiful and really easy to make. In my previous video, I show how to crochet this set. Then I have so many lovely comments and requests to make a diaper cover. It's really easy. Even beginners can make too. I'm going to give you all detail step by step. I hope you will love it. If you like this video, please thumbs up and share and comment down below. If you're new for my channel, don't forget to join with my thousand of subscribers by clicking this subscribe button and the bell icon. Okay, before I start the tutorial, I'm going to show you my finished set. I made these two socks using basic socks. You can get the five different size. And this headband you can get with the two different size. I'm going to show you two different size, 0 to 3 month and 3 to 6 month with this diaper cover. In my previous video, I show how to crochet this baby dress. I made this diaper cover for this dress. And this blanket is really nice size. It's so beautiful. It's coming 41 inches to 41 inches. It's a square blanket. I'm using the same pattern to make this diaper cover. Okay, I'm using pink color yarn. This yarn is double knitting yarn. This yarn recommend hook is 4. This yarn will have 100 gram, 330 meters. I'm using 4 millimeter crochet hook to make this diaper cover. I'm going to make 0 to 3 month size and I'm going to give you 3 to 6 month detail as well. I may start with this waistline, start with the chain 8, to begin slip knot, chain 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 chain, I'm using this back loop. Skip first chain into the second chain, one single crochet. This first chain is the first single crochet. Now I have one, two single crochet into the next chain, one single crochet. Now I have a three, four. Five, six, seven, sorry, seven single crochet and eight single crochet. You can see here I have a seven plus first chain altogether, eight single crochet. Row two, chain one, turn your work other side. This chain 1 is the first single crochet for this single crochet into the next single crochet using back loop. 1 single crochet. Now I have 1, 2 into the next stitch. 1 single crochet using back loop. 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, into this last loop, eight, eight single crochet, row three, start with the chain one, turn your work other side, this chain one is the first single crochet for this stitch, into the next single crochet, one single crochet using back loop. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight single crochet. 
chain one turn your work other side this is the first single crochet into the next single crochet one single crochet using by back loop now I have a two three four five six seven and eight single crochet now you can see I'm finished four rows four rows after I can get the only two line is two rows is coming one line you can continue this eight single crochet with your size you can see same size zero to three we need 32 line three to six 35 line then mean zero to three we need 64 rows 64 rows after you can get the 32 line 3 to 6 we need altogether 70 rows 70 rows after you can get the 35 line I'm going to show you two more rows make sure you have to finish with the eight single crochet each line you have to finish with the eight single crochet eight chain one this chain one is the first single crochet we start with the second single crochet using by back loop now I'm nearly finished 64 rows six seven and eight single crochet You can see I'm finished 64 rows. Two rows is coming one line. Then I can get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. 32 line. I'm finished. 64 rows this 64 rows is coming 34 centimeter 3 to 6 month is coming 38 centimeter 3 to 6 month you need 70 rows that's the two different size rows we need 0 to 3 64 rows 3 to 6, 70 rows. Next, I'm going to join this last row and first row together. I'm using this yarn tail to join this together. I'm using this yarn needle. First, we need to join this corner single crochet, this first single crochet with this other side single crochet to same size. Next, I'm using this side, both loop and other side only back loop. Again, this side two loop, other side only back loop. I hope you can understand. From now, please follow this video. Now 
Now I am nearly finished joining this together. I am using one knot to tie this stitch. Now we are finished joining this together. You can see it's coming beautiful finishing. Next row, I'm going to start this pattern. Before I start the pattern, I'm going to make the half double crochet around to this waistline. If you want, you can change the color now. I'm going to use same color. You can see this waistband is so comfortable for babies. Next round. I'm going to start with the half double crochet. Start with the chain two. One, two. This two double, sorry, two chain is the first half double crochet into the next space. One half double crochet. I'm using this each row to make the stitch. Into the next row, I'm going to make two half double crochet together one you can see i have a one two three now into the same space one more half double crochet again into the next two rows one half double crochet one into the next row one half double crochet into the next two half double crochet together one two this round is going one one two i'm using this row to make this stitch half double crochet you can see i'm gonna make one half double crochet into one row into the next row one more half double crochet into the third row is coming two half double crochet together this round is going one two and three and four half double crochet together follow this pattern all around to this round i'm going to show you end of this round now i'm nearly finished this round one with the half double crochet this round is going one one two Join with the first third chain using by slip stitch. Now I finish the first round. 0 to 3 month. I have a 85 half double crochet. 3 to 6 month. You need 93 half double crochet. Row 2. Start with the chain 3. I count this first 3 chain is the first double crochet. Into the same space double crochet. Now I have a two double crochet, chain one, into the same space two more double crochet, one and two. This is the first cell for this first round, sorry second round. Skip one, two, three half double crochet into the fourth half double crochet, one more shell. It's going two double crochet. Chain 1, 2 more double crochet into the same space. Again, skip 3 dub half double crochet into the 4th half double crochet. 2 double crochet. 1, 2. Chain 1 into the same space. 2 more half double crochet. Sorry, 2 more double crochet. Again, skip 3 stitch into the 4th one, 2 double crochet, chain 1, and 2 double crochet. Follow this pattern all around to this second round. I'm going to show you end of this second round. Now, I am nearly finished this second round using 2 double crochet, chain 1, and 2 double crochet. Skip 3 stitch into the 4th half double crochet, 2 double crochet. Chain 1, 2 more double crochet into the same space. Join with the first third chain using by slip stitch. 
Now I finished 0 to 3 months with the second round. I have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 0 to 3 months we need 21 shell. 3 to 6 months we need 23 shell. Now I'm going to start third round. I'm going to start with this chain space. Into this chain space slip stitch. Start with the chain 3. This chain 3 is the first double crochet. Into this chain space double crochet. Now I have a 2 double crochet. Chain 1. Into the same space 2 more double crochet. Skip next 4 double crochet into this chain space. 2 double crochet. Sorry, 2 double crochet. Chain 1. 2 more double crochet into this same space. Again into the next chain space. 2 double crochet. Chain 1. 2 double crochet. Follow this pattern all around to this round 3. I'm going to show you end of this round 3. Now I'm nearly finished this round 3. Into this chain space, 2 double crochet, chain 1, 2 more double crochet into this same space. Join with the first third chain using by slip stitch. Now I finished 3 round. Next round, round 4, start with same way into this chain space, slip stitch. Start with the chain 3, 1, 2, 3, into the same space, double crochet, chain 1, 2 more double crochet into the same space. Again into the next chain space. 2 double crochet, chain 1, 2 more double crochet into the same space. Now you know this pattern, you can continue this pattern with your diaper cover size. Now I start the third round with the shell round. You need 6 shell round for the 0 to 3 month, 3 to 6 month, 8 shell round. Plus first half double crochet round. That means 0 to 3, 7 and 3 to 6, 9 round. Now I am nearly finished round 7. This one for 0 to 3 month. Then I need 6 shell round. Join with the first third chain using by slip stitch. You can see I have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 shell round with this first half double crochet altogether 7 round. This 7 round is coming 15 centimeter. If you are going to make 3 to 6 month, it is coming around 19 centimeter. Next, I am going to divide these two legs. Here I have a 21 shell. Then I am going to put 10 shell for the 1 legs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This 10 for the 1 side. Next again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This 10 for the next one. That's the two legs. I have extra one shell. I'm gonna use this extra one shell for this middle. And start with the chain 3. 1, 2, 3. Into this space. 1 double crochet. Into this chain space, 
one double crochet next double crochet is coming into this stitch marker space into this stitch marker space one double crochet next one coming into this double crochet top next one coming into this chain space again to this double crochet top one more double crochet next one is coming into this chain sorry this is stitch mark space Again, I'm gonna use this side into this shell chain space, one double crochet into the next double crochet, one double crochet into this double crochet, one double crochet. Join with the, this first third chain using by slip stitch. You can see now each side have a six double crochet this side have a six double crochet another side have a six double crochet you can see here six each shell to three six and this side six three to six month you can take 11 shell for the each leg and middle shell you can use like same way now i cut this yarn and tie it in here next i'm going to close this open using yarn needle i'm using small stitches to join this middle you can see I have a 10 shell for the this side first i'm going to close this open using yarn needle next i'm going to show you how to make the two legs i'm using small stitches to join these from now please follow this video Now I finished joining these two together. It's coming like this. Next, I'm gonna make the two legs. I'm gonna join this yarn. This the back side. This the front side. I'm gonna join this yarn to the front. Sorry, back side. You can see this extra shell one is coming to front side. I'm joining this yarn into this back side. Next round, start with the chain three, one, two, three, into the same space, one double crochet, chain one, into the same space, two more double crochet. one and a two two double crochet this is the first shell for this leg next one is coming into this corner this chain is space i'm gonna make 
double crochet one double crochet into this double crochet one double crochet again into the next double crochet in this side double crochet and one more double crochet this is the one shell you have a four double crochet next shell is coming into this chain space two double crochet chain one two more double crochet into the same space again into the next chain space next shell you know this pattern now you can follow this pattern all the way to the this round i'm going to show you end of this round now i'm nearly finished this round this is the last shell join with the first third chain using by slip stitch this is the first round for this leg i'm gonna make next round into this chain space slip stitch chain 3 into the same space double crochet chain 1 into the same space 2 more double crochet next shell is coming you can see here have a 4 double crochet this corner have a 4 double crochet I'm gonna skip this 2 double crochet in this side 1 2 3 4 next shell is coming into this middle 2 double crochet chain 1 2 more double crochet next shell is coming into this chain space Follow this pattern all around to this round. I'm going to show you end of this round. How to finish this round. Now i am nearly finished second round for this leg. Join with the first third chain using by slip stitch. Now I finish two round. Next round, round three start with this chain space to slip stitch. Chain three into the same space double crochet chain one two more double crochet into the next shell chain space two double crochet chain one two more double crochet follow this pattern all around to this round i'm going to show you end of this round now i'm nearly finished round three for this leg join with the first third chain using by slip stitch now I finished three round for this leg. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine round. Next round I gonna make with the double crochet, front force and back force double crochet. Start with the this double crochet to front force, slip stitch, chain three into the next double crochet back force double crochet skip this next chain into the next double crochet front force double crochet into the next double crochet back force double crochet again into the next double crochet front force double crochet this round is going front force and back force double crochet. This both side 0 to 3 and 3 to 6 month. We need shell with the 3 round. Next round is going with the front force and back force double crochet. Now I am nearly finished this front force and back force double crochet round. front force double crochet 
finished with the back force double crochet this first third chain is the front force double crochet join with the first third chain using by slip stitch now I finish one round with the front force and back force double crochet next round I'm using same stitch front force and back force double crochet to start with the chain three this first chain three is the front force double crochet into the next double crochet back force double crochet again into the next front force double crochet to front force double crochet this time I'm gonna tie this stitch you can see it's a little bit tight then it's coming beautiful finishing front force double crochet to front force double crochet back force double crochet to back force double crochet make sure a little bit tight this yarn then is you can get the beautiful finishing follow this pattern all around to this round now I'm nearly finished this last round with the front force and back force double crochet join with the first third chain using by slip stitch I'm gonna cut this yarn now now I finished one leg you can see it's coming beautiful finishing I'm gonna show you how to start the next one this is the front side I'm gonna join this yarn into the back side I'm gonna join into this shell into this chain space start with the chain 3 into the same space double crochet chain 1 2 more double crochet into the same space you know this pattern now follow this pattern into this each shell one shell I'm gonna show you how to make this corner now I'm in this middle into this you can see I'm start with this shell I'm gonna make one shell for this middle same like this side one then I'm gonna make double crochet into this double crochet one double crochet two double crochet into the next sorry into the next double crochet one double crochet next double crochet is going to this chain space you can see here I have now four double crochet I start with this double crochet join with the first third chain using by slip stitch next round start with the this chain space you know this pattern now you can continue this pattern with around this three shell round and the two double crochet front force and back force double crochet next shell is coming middle of this double crochet I have a three shell for the legs and two front force and back force round this one for zero to three month then I have a nine shell round with the front force and back force double crochet two round this zero to three month size is coming 21 centimeter three to six month is coming almost 25 centimeter follow the next leg side same as this side one I'm going to show you how to finish these two legs now I'm nearly finished this second one same as other side one now I'm finished this both legs It's coming look like this you can use the yarn needle to hide this yarn tail 
now I finished this diaper cover it's so beautiful and really easy to make if you want you can use this flower for this front side in my previous video I show how to crochet this flower it's really easy to make you can make within 15 minutes I take around 15 minutes to finish this diaper cover it's so beautiful and really easy to make I hope you will love it. If you like this video, please thumbs up and share and comment down below. See you again with another video.